Hello everyone, welcome back to Key Comics Market Watch. I'm happy to have y'all back for another video. Now today's not going to be a haul video. Today I am doing my 2020 top 15 comics you need to get now before they blow up and the prices just go through the roof. So, um, and I added one book in there that's um, a speculation under the radar book that I feel a lot of people don't know about. Um... And it came to my attention recently when I bought it, and I just kept looking at it. So, I definitely feel a lot of people are going to like this speculation book. But, let's get this haul start. I mean, let's get this thing started. And before we get started, as always, I want you guys to give this a big thumbs up. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified every time I put up a video. And thank you to my No Skip Ad crew. I ask you guys to not skip the ads because I'm a small channel and every ad counts when you skip it. So uh, don't skip the ads and that would help me out a lot. And if you do want to skip the ads and still want to support, as always, you can go to the Cash App. And this is my handle. You can donate whatever you want. I've had... So many people donate, and I appreciate you guys. And like I've said before, if everyone donates a, even a dollar and it's 2,000 subscribers, that makes a big difference. So let's get on with this. And as always, I hope you guys are having a great day. Just want to say rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and his daughter and the other victims. Uh, that was horrible. And, man, when stuff like that happens, I was never a Kobe fan. Uh, but... At the end of the day, when stuff like that happens, it just makes you realize that you really need to spend quality time with the people you love while you have them around. Um, so definitely, definitely it hit me. And um, just feel really bad for all the kids that died and um, they didn't get to live a long life, you know what I'm saying? So every day is a blessing. Don't take it for granted. So let's get on with this. This, uh, this. And... Uh, <clears throat> So the first book I got is Demon Number One. Now this is the first appearance of Demon, and I have to say Demon is definitely a very, one of my one of my favorite characters from the DC universe. Definitely very powerful person. Um, definitely love the Demon, and um, definitely would suggest you get this. I definitely uh think that this book is still undervalued. It has gone up a little bit, but in the greater scheme of things, I really really feel this book. It's very undervalued, uh, great Jack Kirby art, uh, love it. And I was lucky enough to get this uh, number one recently at a, a convention. So very happy I was able to finally pick up an issue number one in high grade. And I am loving it, loving it, loving it. So definitely need to get this book ASAP. Definitely seeing big things for Demon coming up, all right? And then the next book that... I have is uh, New Gods number, what was it? New Gods number number three. Now, the importance of this book is the first appearance of uh, the Black Racer, which is death, and, uh, basically death. And um, this book is very undervalued right now. Like, a lot of people are very, are sleeping on this book. Everyone's just basically getting issue one, and they're getting, uh, what is it, issue two with a, uh, Dark side on the cover, but this book right here is definitely an under the radar book. And when they come out with the New Gods movie, you best believe he's gonna be in it. Like I'm pretty sure at the beginning of the the movie they might show like you know a big war or whatever between you know Apocalypse, um, um, uh, Dark Side's um, troops, and then New Gods, and you know. Um, most likely, you know, people are going to die. So, guess who's going to show up? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, most likely he's going to appear probably at the beginning of the movie and at the end of the movie. Uh, or maybe throughout the movie. I don't know. But, it's definitely a character that a lot of people are very are sleeping on. So, definitely an under-the-radar book that I feel definitely has a lot of potential. And, it's Jack Kirby goodness, like I've said before. So, definitely try to pick this up ASAP. Alright, now, this book was hot. For maybe a second when um, Absorbing Man was on the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show, which it was great. I loved it. Um, but 
definitely this book right now is is really very undervalued. I'm shocked. Now this is Journey into Mystery number uh, 114, the first appearance of Absorbing Man, and I really, really am like, man, shocked at the prices that this book is going for right now. I've seen low. I mean, I've seen like six O's go for like thirty. Like that, I'm just. I remember at one point six O's were kind of like a hundred. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm just kind of shocked at how low this book has gone, and it's a it's a you know silver age book. Like it's an old silver age book. So I'm just like kind of really surprised, but. You know, while everyone's sleeping on it, now's the time to get it. Uh, definitely feel that even though he made that appearance on the show, I really feel that eventually he's going to be in one of the movies. I mean, he's just a very interesting character. Uh, a lot of potential, very powerful. I mean, if you've been reading um, Immortal Hulk, you see uh, he, for a minute, became the Red Hulk. <laughs> he, he's able to do, you know, take, you know, absorb... Gamma, so it was crazy, but um, anyways, uh, definitely just a book that I definitely feel you need to be getting now. All right, the next book is Original uh, Amazing Spider Man, original, the original sin, Amazing Spider Man number four, Original Sins. Uh, now, this book right here is the first appearance of Silk. Uh, now, definitely a book that has seen its spikes. But lately it has come down some, and right now is the perfect opportunity to buy it. I mean, I really feel that they're eventually really going to do something with this character. So, um, I mean, the possibility of her showing up is very high. I, I will say that. So, and the, as, after, after I saw the Mortibus um, uh, trailer, I really am seeing that uh, Sony's not playing around. They're really trying to get this Spider-Man universe going. Like, they really... They, I mean, I'm, I, when I saw Vulture at the end, I was like, man, they're about to connect everything. It's about to be amazing if they connect all this with the MCU all together. Like, it's a possibility we could see the Sinister Six appearing in one of the MC, uh, other MCU character movies or shows. I mean, it's just the possibilities are endless. I mean, they have a working relationship right now, Marvel and Sony. So they are, you know, it's possibilities. Possibilities are endless. So I definitely feel that this is a book that definitely needs to, people need to be getting, especially the variant. I'm definitely trying to find the variant. Um, that variant is, is one that's not that easy to find. And when I do find it, um, the prices could be a little bit, eh, so I'm still waiting to find one at the reasonable price that I, I want to pay. But definitely this book right here in the variant is the one you should be looking for right now. Alrighty. Now the next book, of course, is Spider-Verse. First appearance of Gwen Stacy as um, <laughs> uh, uh, Gwen Stacy Spider-Woman. I'm tripping. I am tongue-tied today. Now, I, I was lucky enough to get this with a remark, as you can see from... Um, Latour. So I was lucky enough to get this uh, first printing. Now, if you can get that Greg Land variant, oh my God, you'll be in. You be that Greg Land variant goes for a lot of money. But the first printing is definitely. I will say this: it hasn't slowed down. Even though she's already came out in you know the cartoon movie, into the Spider Verse, um, the Miles Morales movie. It still hasn't slowed down at all. Like, this book is still going uh, strong. And I definitely feel that this is a character that would just keep gaining in popularity. And this book definitely would just keep going up. I, I definitely see eventually probably these 9.8 of this is eventually probably going to be in the $1,000 eventually. It's going to get there. Uh, definitely a book that... If you don't have it, you need to get it now. So don't tell, don't don't say I didn't tell you. So you later on you'll be like, oh man, I should have got it while it was still at a, a fair price, you know. So now the next book, I did, now this one right here is kind of a really a spec play for me 
because this is one of this character right here. I love this character. Um, long shot number one, first appearance of Long Shot. I've always liked this character. Uh, Arthur Adams did the art for the whole limited series, and I loved it when it came out. And once he joined the X Men, I really liked Long Shot even more. But they haven't done too much with him lately. But I really feel that this is another character that's undervalued right now. And you should definitely, definitely be getting it right now while it's undervalued. I mean, you can get 9.8s for like 100, 120. So definitely a book that I suggest you get now. All right. And of course, lately there's been news about ROM, so definitely I had to put ROM up there for the you have to get this this year. Definitely. Now I definitely would suggest you get the direct market, the one with the slash and the line the line and the um the barcode. Because this is in 1979, this is when the direct market first started. So the direct market at the time was like what was it, four percent or two percent? I forgot what it was of the market. It was Newsstands basically was everywhere. It was no direct, direct market had just started. So definitely I would suggest if you are going to get a ROM number one, try to get the direct market with the slash. Uh, it's way more valuable and it's rarer than the, the newsstand. And with the ROM news, definitely it's been spec for a minute. So right now I definitely think that uh, it's time for you to pick this up if you haven't picked it up already. And ROM is a great character. Wish... Marvel could have worked something out and had him back in the Marvel Universe, which would have been great, but, oh well. You know, Hasbro owns it, so, eh, it is what it is. Alright, and before we get on with the rest of the, the books, I wanted to talk about, um, I just wanted to give some shout-outs to some uh, local um, vendor, uh, local promotions that's doing uh, com little, com little small Comic-Cons. So, I wanted to give a shout-out to show sure enough productions right here um they're having they just had a uh they're having um on february the 23rd on a sunday in annandale virginia at the firehouse they're having a, a con from 10 a.m to 3 p.m and it's three dollars to enter and there will be plenty of dealers there uh i have to say the con i just went to it was small but there was a lot of stuff that I was just like I was like a kid in a, a candy store like literally I was just like man I I, w I was excited to be there because they had things that I wanted and I was able to pick up some great books and I also got to meet some great people I actually ran into two people that look at my videos want to shout y'all out thank you for uh you know talking to me and letting me know that you appreciate my channel and I also wound up getting a new subscriber and Talked to a lot of dealers and stuff, so it was great. I I got some great deals. They definitely will work with you on prices. All right, and there's also another one um, that's uh, going to be in Philly. Uh, so you're in, in Philly area, there's a Comic-Con on Sunday, March the 1st at the Clarendon Hotel Conference Center. So let me put that up. Just if you need to, just stop the video so that way you can read all the information me put it up a little bit closer. You can just pause the video as I go up and down so you get the information. So if you're in the Philly area, check this con out. And last but not least, we have a Frederick uh, Comic Con in Maryland on Sunday, March 8th. And this is where that's going to be at, so just pause it. Right, it's gonna be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Clarendon Inn Event Center. It's free parking. Admission is eight dollars, and 12 and under are free. And if you want to, you know, call the person for some more information, here goes the number. Let them know Key Comics Market Watch sent you. <laughs> All right, you guys. So just wanted to give some love to some local you know comic cons definitely people should go to them and show them some love uh definitely if, if people show love and more people show up they'll keep doing them and you know our hobby could thrive instead of dying so 
love this hobby and I don't want it to die so definitely check those out alright so let's continue alright so of course one of the books that's been specced on for so long is Nova number one but uh it's been a lot of news lately and I really feel that it is about that time that Nova is about to make that splash into the MCU. Don't know which movie it's going to be. I really feel it could be Guardians of the Galaxy 3. It, it could be a possibility. So, right now is the time to get this book. I mean, it's it's already a $1,000 book at 9.8, so... I can just imagine when they finally say exactly where he's going to show up at, up as, you know, which movie, and um, probably go to like 15, 1600 at 9.8 by then. So definitely a book you need to be getting now. All right, now this book right here just came out recently, but the reason why I really feel you need to get this is because this is the second printing. Now the second printing, the print run alone on the first print was already low, but this second printing is really low. And this is the first appearance of Batman Beyond. Bat, Batwoman? Batwoman Beyond. Yeah, there it goes. So uh definitely feel that if you're gonna if you already have the first printing, you definitely need to be finding this second printing. Man, I, I've seen times where second printings have eclipsed the first printings in prices because of the rarity of the second print. Um, now, I don't think they're going to make a third printing of this, so uh, definitely this second printing is definitely a book you should be trying to get right now. Um, this second printing right now is going for about 15 bucks on eBay, so snatch it up before that price doubles, so I, don't say I didn't tell you, so snatch that up. Same thing with this issue right here. This is Spawn 301. This is the second printing. Now... The difference between the second printing and the first printing is that on the first printing, Spawn is like really small and it's all over here. It's small. It's not all the way big like that. And 300 is in white instead of this greenish um, color. And as you can see, the background is uh, Spawn number one. But on the first printing, it's like it cuts off right there and it's like white instead. So it doesn't show all this other, the rest of the detail. That you see so basically like this this second printing has the whole it's like they put spawn number one right there then they put this over top of spawn number one that's why spawn is in the big letters right here because it's like just like issue number one this is out but on the first printing of issue 301 spawn is like really small and white um so definitely the same thing with this issue this was a record-breaking issue so 301 will, I think, maintain value because it was a record-setting issue. Uh, now, 300 was the tie, but this was the record-breaking. So, with this second printing, I, you know, the printing was low once again. And to be honest, this one looks better than the first printing because it has the, all, it's the whole detail of issue one behind it. And I like how Spawn is just big right there instead of real small in the corner uh so definitely it just gives it a different feel you know what i'm saying so definitely definitely i'm loving this book and i definitely think if you have a chance pick this up um 9.8 of this book i've been seeing go for uh a nice little piece of change so uh definitely uh grab this book grab this book all right so the next book of course is silver surfer number 81 now, Silver Surfer 81's first appearance of Tyrant, definitely a person that uh, <clears throat> can wind up being a very important person in the future, like super important. So this book right now has already seen a climb. Uh, I remember I used to find this in the dollar bin all the time. Uh, but now, even at the com com uh, comic book shows, I've seen them on walls now, like they're wall books now. <laughs> so, yeah, they're not in the dollar boxes anymore. They are on the wall now. So, just another example of, uh, yeah, you sometimes you need to pick them dollar books up while you can uh, when they're there, the key books. Um, so, because you never know when something's going to happen. And this one right here, I feel, has more potential of going up even more. 
great Ron Lim cover, man. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, definitely, definitely suggest you get this. All right. And then Ravage 2099. Now, this is a real long shot. Like, But the, the main reason why I put this up here is because out of the all of the 2099s, all the other characters are, like, popular. Like, now, this character is probably the least popular out of all of them. And, you know, I've noticed some writers have, have a tendency of taking characters that just are forgotten and not loved and all of a sudden bring them back in the storyline and, and, and had, had a twist where now you love that character and you like the character. Like, changed it up and everything. So, they've been doing that a lot lately. So, this is a character that's not loved by many. So, I definitely feel that if they do do something with this character, it's probably going to be something great and it's going to make this character finally get some love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, this is the first appearance. You can still find this in the dollar, dollar bins, but the, the one, but this newsstand one is the one that's hard to find. Like, normally, let's say 2099 right there, the direct one. The newsstands are definitely harder to find in the wild. Now, you can find them on eBay, and people are actually selling them for a premium, but then you got some people that selling them for cheap. So, um, I guess the people that sold it for cheap or just don't know that it's a newsstand that's harder. Well, either they do, but they just try to get rid of it regardless because, like I said, this character doesn't, doesn't get love So um, from us comic book fans. So, uh, I just have to say, um, definitely be on the lookout for the newsstand. Get this book, get the newsstand copy while you can, because you never know. Like I said, just never know. Now, I was talking about Spawn 300 when I was talking about 301. Now, 300 was the tie, so it's still kind of, you know, it's kind of important. But out of all the 300 covers, besides, let's see, it, yeah, out of all the 300 covers, I have to say that this um, McFarlane 1 in 50 variant has been just steadily going up. Like, it's crazy. Like, I've seen lately, I've looked to see what's been selling on eBay as far as this. And this has definitely has been steadily selling way more than the other variants and the other books. This one has definitely been selling and it's been selling for a higher price like 9.8s are selling for 150 um un ungraded ones are, are selling for like between you know 50 to 75 dollars so it's, you know it's it hasn't dropped i'll just put it to you like that and you know when it comes to spawn books um you know the the more rare it is the more in the long run as years go by, they go up in value because they're just sought after because they're just more rare. So this is a book definitely that I would say you should definitely get right now is the Virgin variant, the 1 in 50. Definitely pick it up. Pick it up now because I I see this book probably 9.8 will so probably go reach 300 in the future. So definitely pick this up now. All righty. And... I've talked about this book before, and I'm going to keep talking about this book because, man, it's so crazy how undervalued this book is, and it's so crazy how people still haven't caught on to this book. Like, this Marvel Spotlight right here is the first appearance of Spider-Woman, and, man, I'm telling you, I, I'm just shocked at, you know, some of the prices that they go for, and... I'm like, man, it's still a bargain. I mean, even 9.8s are still at bargain prices. Um, I mean, a couple of hundred dollars ain't bargain to some people, but when you look at the greater scheme of things, first appearance of Spider-Woman, Jessica Drew, is just, it's, it's, it's amazing to me that it's not like 9.8s aren't going for like 1500 or more. Like, it's, it's amazing to me that the first appearance of Black Cat goes for more than this book. Like, the a 9.8 of Black Cat is like 2000 and some dollars. and But yet, you can find a 9.8 of this for less than a 1000 So, it just boggles my mind that that it is that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, 
that's why I feel this is just such an undervalued book. Definitely. Um, definitely feel this book should be going for way more than First Appearance of Black Cat. First Appearance of a lot of characters, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, it's been held down, and that means it's a great time for you to get it, you guys. So, definitely, definitely, this is probably one of the biggest books that I definitely would say get as many copies as you can now before finally people finally realize what this how important this book is so on to the next one all right so we got amazing spider-man number uh what's this 546 now this is the first appearance first full appearance of mr negative now mr negative is supposed to be coming it's supposed to be in something i forgot what it is it's supposed to be more than us or something, or something else. It's supposed to be in something. I forgot what it is. Uh, but just um, definitely this book still is not going for much. Like, it's kind of crazy to me. So I'm like, okay. Um, kind of reminds me of another book that's very undervalued right now. But, uh, you know, I definitely don't feel this is in this range. But at the same time, Mr. Negative is a very interesting character that I definitely would say that should be going for way more than what it's going for. So definitely a very undervalued book. Definitely you should be trying to get this now. So, and last but not least, you guys, this is my big spec play right here that I really feel a lot of people don't know about this book. Like, now, it's nothing important to the inside of the book. It's this cover. Now, this is Superman from the New 52 issue, 35. This was Monster of the Month variant. Now, this variant cover, like, if you guys really study this cover, I really want you to look at this cover. Now, does this not remind you of someone, a, a, a character that recently came out and a couple of years ago that uh, right now is causing havoc in the DC universe? Like, do you not see the resemblance, like, the hands, the outfit, the chains, the... The teeth, and not only that, the thing, you know, the thing that's, the, the thing in the eyes, so you see it, that's why it's shooting, like, in all the different places, because the thing is, you know, the little visor thing, so I'm pretty sure you guys know who I'm talking about, right, the only difference is, you see Super S right there, instead of a, instead of it being Batman, this is a Superman, so this, to me, is the prototype that actually, made whoever decided to create the Batman who laughs. I think he took it off of this cover. Like, he literally probably saw this cover and just took inspiration from it. It was like, man, that is my inspiration. So I really feel that he took it from this. I mean, look at it. How can, how can you debate it? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy. Like, so I really feel this was the prototype of the Batman who laughs just off of this variant cover. So I definitely feel this is a book that a lot of people don't know about. This cover, They don't know about this cover. This book definitely came out way before the first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs. So definitely, definitely a spec book that I feel that as more people catch on to this cover, they might start swiping this cover up because uh, look at it. I mean, it's undeniable. <laughs> like... He had to have got the inspiration from this. Like, it's no way that he did. Like, it's just too many resemblances. You know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, it'd be great to talk to whoever created Batman Who Laughs and ask him if he did get, you know, inspiration from this cover. So, uh, you know, if one of y'all out there in the YouTube community that could maybe get an interview with the person and ask him that question, that would be great. So, let me know in the comment section if any of y'all get a chance to ask that person who created the Batman who laughs if he got inspiration from this cover that came out years before the first Batman who laughs appearance. So, yeah, this is just a just noticed it like I when I when I found this book and I I picked it up, I was like and I saw it was a variant and then I just kept looking at it. I was like this reminds me of someone like crazy like it just did, the the whole outfit, like, the only thing that was throwing me off was that S in the middle, but, I mean, 
why is eye beams coming out from different places? I'm like, hold up, that's that that's like the visor thing that has the things all the like. That's what it reminds me of that, you know. And then the teeth. I'm like the teeth, the the hands, the chains, and just the overall look. I'm just like, hmm. Something about this just reminds me of some. So it just does. If, if you guys agree or don't agree, let me know in the comment section. And as always, you guys, thank you for watching my video. And like I said, if you like it, give it a thumbs up because the thumbs up makes a difference for some reason. I don't know what it is with the algorithm of, of YouTube that if you give it the thumbs up, it will show more often or whatever. I don't know. And make sure you hit the Galactus head right here to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so that way you can get notified every time I put out a video and you don't miss out. And I will be doing a haul video probably in a couple of days. So you'll be seeing that. And until next time, everyone, I am out of here. And I just have to say, and make sure you, you, you go out there and hunt. Because there's comics to be found out there, everyone. And have a great day. Peace.